welcome back. Today we've got no background. We're just in the office. This is what my office looks like. We've got our mug of the day. We've got the Disney transportation. And I like their blueprints of what the transportation looks like. There is the Skyliner. That will be important in today's discussion. Now, also, brand new Haunted Mansion Roosevelt shirt was once sold out. I got mine. All right. The title, Ranking Our Moderate Resorts at Disney World. This is pretty easy. Shouldn't be too controversial. There may be some diehard Coronados fans or, you know, Caribbean beach haters, but there's only four. We're not including the cabins, so... We've got four resorts today. We've got, um, like I said, Caribbean Beach. We've got Riverside. We've got Coronado Springs. And we've got French Quarter. Okay. These aren't hard to rank for me. They're pretty straightforward, pretty easy, all for various reasons. Um, if your rankings differ than mine, that's perfectly fine. Uh, nobody really cares about the moderate resort rankings, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I think if you choose any of these four, you'll be okay. Um, there's not, you know, it's not a big deal. Now, the next video, the deluxe rankings, is where we might have some issues. Maybe. I'm going to make this pretty quick. Explain my reasoning. Okay. At number one, I've got Port Orleans French Quarter as the best overall choice of the moderate resorts. There's one big thing that um, stinks for this. There's no on-site dining, but there is also a ferry to Disney Springs where arguably is the best dining. So, you know, you get that trade off, you get the ferry over to Disney Springs instead of having on-site dining. So you get an excuse to go to Disney Springs. I'm all for that. It's also a smaller, really small resort. It's got one bus stop. So that could be a problem, but overall it's the best all around moderate resort in my opinion. Okay. Number two. Coronado Springs. Now, Coronado Springs, I probably have the biggest problem with, but I have to give it number two after it's refurb. I get a refurbishment in 2018. The rooms are incredible. They've got some incredible rooms at Coronado Springs. I can't hate on them for that. Uh, what I can hate on them for is I think what most people's opinion is, it's very business-like, very corporate. Um, they have the convention center there, a lot of corporate meetings a lot of business meetings are held uh using coronado springs as a central hub so you see a lot of suit and ties walking around you see a lot of people in business attire walking around and it doesn't have that disney feeling that people look for when they're trying to stay at disney world so fix the stash that's my biggest that's my biggest kind of thing is the corporate vibe overpowers the Disney vibe. But if you don't really care about the Disney vibe, those rooms are beautiful. The refurbishment was done awesome, which is why I don't get why other ref refurbs they did to other resorts, they didn't put as much effort. Like next, we have Riverside. They have new rooms, but those rooms aren't as good as Coronado Springs. I don't think so. Um, I think Coronado Springs got all the love because of the, sorry, my allergies are killing me, because of the corporate, you know, feel. Um, but next, yeah, number three, we have Riverside, Porter Lane's Riverside. I have this one down as the most beautiful resort. So to me, it's the one that looks the best to walk around in. Um, it's just not that like the room, if you're going for the room, then choose Coronado Springs. If you're going for the best overall, then you're going to want to choose French Quarter. Riverside's good. It's just, just below those two for me. So there's not a lot to go on or talk about with that. Now, most controversial last on a lot of people's list is Caribbean Beach Resort. The best thing Caribbean Beach has, you know what it is? Skyliner. Caribbean Beach has got the Skyliner to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. That alone 
for many people could put that at number one, right? If travel to Epcot Hollywood Studios is that important to you, then easily Caribbean Beach can be number one. Now, I'm just ranking this based off personal experience. Oh, 10, 11 years ago, we stayed there and I had no idea how big it was. Now, that's no big deal, but I injured my leg in the military pretty badly. At the time, I was only a few years out of active duty and the walk from our room, we, fate would have it. We had the furthest room away. Now they have an an internal bus system, but uh, it was, it was tough. Now, after physical therapy, you know, get my leg back in shape and and working out really good. um, I don't think it'd be that big of a problem. You're walking around Disney anyway. And the Caribbean beach is the one where I saw the most people running like your people that like to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, have coffee and go for a run. I'm not one of those people. Are you one of those people? I'm not one of those people. Um, I used to be, but you'd see a lot of people running because it's such a vast resort and you have plenty of places you can take off to. Um, So yeah, I've got one. Port Orleans, French Quarter, two Coronado Springs, three Riverside, and four Caribbean Beach. Cabins are in there. If I were to include them, I'd put them at number two, personally. I like to camp. I like to I like to hunt. I like to be out in the wilderness. So, um, But you're not going to get anywhere quick. You know what I mean? Similar to like Caribbean Beach. It's going to take you a minute just to get off property. And that's fine. That's not a big deal. But if you're looking, you know, depends on what you want. Listen, we're preparing for a war here. The war is with the deluxe resorts. I want to know what you think. What are your What are your thoughts on the next series where we rank the deluxe resorts? Someone's going to come for me. I think so. Yeah. Oh, there's so many, and they're all so good. That's going to be fun. Who's going to get last? Oh. Listen. Like I said, it's easy. If value and moderate is so close to me, I mean, let's look up real quick, like we did for the last video. Let's log into our Disney account. Gonna make me wanna um, book a trip now. Good thing I know a good travel agent. She's asleep though. I think she could help me out. While I'm looking this up, don't forget my wife and I are part of Magical Travel, and it's a free service where we just book your next vacation, um, no cost to you. And here's what you get: you get our knowledge, our expertise. When you book a Disney trip too, they don't automatically update your your reservation with the new, newest discounts. Like there are so many discounts that came out recently that if you're not, if you're not privy to that information, they're not going to tell you, man, they are not going to tell you. Do you blame them? I don't blame them. I don't blame Disney one bit. Let's go January 9th to the 15th. Uh, let's just do two adults, two kids. Sure. Let's find a room. Now, I just want to see how close the Knights are compared to. So we got All-Star Sports sitting at 150. Okay. Caribbean Beach, $300. Let's just use those two as an example. Double the price. So, depends on what you want. Um, I would choose Caribbean over All-Star Sports for sure. However... Let me share this screen with you guys so you can see what it is I'm doing. Okay. So we're in January, right? January 9th to the 15th. Okay. This is the average per night. So we got 150 average. Okay. Art of Animation 227. Probably the best value right here is Art of Animation because 
although it's a value resort, this is a cool resort here. This is, this is pretty neat. Uh, I take that back. Pop Century at under 200 bucks a night is probably a steal. That's probably definitely a steal compared to another $100 a night at Caribbean Beach. I'd say at Pop Century. Uh, no. 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 Choo. Nah. What's the best value here in January, huh? Uh, 353 for those rooms. If you don't want the Disney vibe, it's pretty good. I could save you money on this right now if I wanted to. But you gotta. Guys, booking a room without a travel agent that knows what they're doing looks expensive. <laughs> it looks very expensive. Um, holy moly. That's a lot of money. Okay. All right. We've ranked our moderate resorts. Like I said, that's easy. We're probably going to have some guests on here for the deluxe ranking because I want to argue with some people on why I, why I think what I think is the best resort. I want to get others' opinions. Listen, please comment down below. What's your favorite moderate resort? Mm. And then what's your favorite deluxe resort? And if you've ever stayed at one, what's one that you really want to stay at? Everybody says, I want to stay at Polynesian. I want to stay at the... Um, I don't know, Animal Kingdom Lodge, or I want to stay at Grand Floridian. Oh, if those are the best. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best choice. Hmm. Leave a comment. Let me know. The channel's at 26 subscribers. Last video, we had 22. Let's go. We are increasing the subscriber count. We are here to stay. We're going to post videos soon on how to save money just simply how to save money like for instance did you know monday through friday raglan roads happy hour it's from like 11 to 5 p.m 11 to 5 do you know how many people book dining for raglan road at like six o'clock guys save money find the deals if you can't do that get in here and learn you know we're all about saving money so there's one free tip Raglan Roads happy hour and everywhere has happy hour and you need to take advantage because drinking in Disney World is expensive. Disney Springs, I mean, you're paying $10 over, $10 or more per drink, right? Why do that? Why do that? Just go 30 minutes earlier, save the cash. All right, listen, we appreciate you. For those of you who are here, who are watching, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much, seriously. And if you need help booking your next trip, just shoot me a message. We'll get my wife um, and myself will help you out. No problem. If you're not going to Disney, going to Universal, same thing. Cruising, same thing. Hit us up. Let us know. We're here for free to help you out and make this confusing process simple, streamlined, and straightforward. All right. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love, baby. Have a good one. Take care.